Hi, my name is Ravi Kumarty, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, SVT Bangalore. So today I am here to explain about the psychometry. Okay, so in ATD, in ATD, Module 4, in the Module 4, Part B, psychometry. So today I'll explain uh, the psychometry, how to solve the problems use, without using psychometric chart and with the help of property of the hair. Okay, so and uh, with the help of steam pro uh, property of here like pressure, with the help of the pressure and temperature and dry bulb temperature, wet bulb, okay, enthalpy, we have to find out now. So before doing that, we shall see some definitions. Okay, so the main definition is dry bulb. So what is a dry bulb? Dry bulb is the temperature is measured with the help of ordinary thermometer. So means it is almost it is a moisture temperature. Dry bulb means it is a moisture temperature. Okay, so next is what wet bulb. So uh, wet bulb is temperature is measured with the help of thermometer, but the tip of the thermometer is the wet wick or cotton wick will be attached. Okay, so that is called as a wet bulb temperature. So we're going to go DWB. And then what is the dew point? So dew point temperature is the temperature at which moisture moist hair becomes saturated and start condensing at constant pressure. Okay, and start condensing at constant pressure. That is a dew point temperature. Okay, so we'll see what is the specific humidity. So specific humidity, it is a ratio of very simple definition. Okay, you need not to worry about that. Very simple. So it's a ratio of mass of water vapor to the mass of dry air. Okay, so means mass of water vapor to a yeah, mass of dry air. So mass of water vapor will consider MV and mass of air will consider dry air is MA. Okay, though uh, here we have to derive something here. Okay, so how to derive? With the help of perfect gas equation, so we know that for air we will consider dry air will consider PAV, MA, RA, T. Okay, so using this we are going to get the mass of air. Next, similarly, we will get mass of volume, mass of vapor. Okay, sorry, mass of vapor. So next, substitute in the specific humidity formula. So if you substitute, you will get PV, RA, PA, RV. But the value of Ra, okay, uh, gas constant for air, you'll get 0.287. Gas constant for vapor, you'll get 0.467. If you substitute everything, so you'll get 0.622 PV by PA. Okay. So again, again here, very important thing. So Dalton's law of partial pressure. Okay. So Dalton's law of partial pressure is P is equal to total pressure. P is equal to PA pressure of vapor, partial pressure of vapor air plus partial pressure of vapor. Okay, so uh, you can rewrite this, you'll get PM is equal to P minus PV. Okay, so simply you write, you'll get 0.622 PV by P minus PV. Okay, so where PV is what? Partial pressure of water vapor, partial pressure of saturated vapor, if it is a PVS, if it is a PA, partial pressure of dry air. Okay, so this is about your specific humidity. So we'll see what is a relative humidity. So relative humidity always will represent in terms of percentage. Okay, so relative humidity is a ratio of mass of water vapor to a mass of saturated vapor at the same volume and temperature. Okay, so mass of water vapor. So if you take same volume and temperature, you'll get pressure of vapor and pressure of saturated vapor. So PV is a pressure of water vapor. So PV is pressure of water vapor, saturated water vapor. That's it. Okay, so this should be in terms of percentage. Okay, so next is what degree of saturation. So degree of saturation, yeah, it is a specific, it's a ratio of actual specific humidity to the saturated specific humidity. Okay, so W by WS. Okay, so W is a normal one, but WS is it here, yeah, you'll get 0.622 in place of PV, you have to write PVS divided by P minus PVS. Okay, so next final uh, very important formula is enthalpy. What is the enthalpy? Enthalpy is amount of energy contained in moisture. Okay, or it is a enthalpy of dry air plus enthalpy of water vapor. Okay, so if you substitute, you'll get. You now, if you simplify this, okay, H is equal to. Let's see, H is equal to. You'll get this is a formula. Okay, but with the help of this, yeah. So mass of here, you know, enthalpy of here, you can represent Cp into dry bulb temperature plus specific humidity into enthalpy of vapor. Okay, so next for superheated, okay, usually for superheated, you will be having a different formula. So that is HV is equal to 
एच जी प्लस सी सी सुपर इटेड टी ड्राइवल माइनस टी ड्यू पॉइंट इफ ड्यू पॉइंट इज ओके दिस विल टेक एंड सब इन दिस इक्वेशन ओके गेट एच इज इक्वल टू एन ताल पी इज इक्वल टू सीपी सीपी स्पेसिफिक हिट ऑफ गैस ओके ड्राइवल टेम्परेचर प्लस स्पेसिफिक ह्यूमिडिटी एन ताल पी ऑफ गैस सुपर इटेड स्पेसिफिक हिट ऑफ सुपर इटेड ओके एंड ड्राइवल टेम्परेचर माइनस ड्यू पॉइंट इफ ड्यू पॉइंट इज जीरो सो यूल गेट एच जी ओके एन ताल पी ऑफ गैस इज इक्वल टू टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड इज अ स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्मुला ओके स्टैंडर्ड वैल्यू ओके सो नेक्स्ट इज यूल गेट सीपी ऑफ गैस यू नो एंड देन सीपी ऑफ सुपर इटेड गैस वन पॉइंट एटेड इफ यू सफ्ट इयर यूल गेट दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मुला एच इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फाइव टी ड्राई बल्ब प्लस डब्ल्यू ओ डब्ल्यू ओ मीन पॉट स्पेसिफिक ह्यूमिडिटी टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड प्लस वन पॉइंट एट एट इन टू ड्राइबल वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मुला दिस इज ओके सो नेक्स्ट वी सिल सी वॉट इज द पार्शल प्रेशर ऑफ वाटर वेपर ओके सो पार्शल प्रेशर ऑफ वाटर वेपर सी दिस फॉर्मुला इफ इफ ड्यू पॉइंट टेम्परेचर ओके इफ ड्यू पॉइंट टेम्परेचर इज नॉट गिवन सो यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट दिस ड्यू पॉइंट टेम्परेचर इज नॉट गिवन यू हैव टू यूज दिस फॉर्मुला If dew point temperature is given, no problem. Okay, so and very important box this is. Okay, what is the very important thing? So here you have to see if they given. So uh, suppose if they given temperature, some they'll mention direct temperature. But uh, how to identify whether it's a dry bulb or whether it's a wet bulb or it's a dew point? See, very simple. If they given moist air temperature, moist air temperature means it is a dry bulb temperature. Okay, so if they given dry bulb temperature, which pressure I have to choose? That is a very important thing. See, if they given dry bulb temperature, you have to write PVS means pressure of vapor, saturated vapor. Okay, wet bulb, you have to write PVS wet bulb. Okay, PVS wet bulb. Dew point temperature is pressure of vapor. Okay, this box is very very important. You know this box. You can solve any problem within a fraction of minute. Okay, so yeah, we'll be having a problems. Without using psychometric chart, so how to solve without using psychometric chart? That is a very important thing. Yeah. So, so for first problem, moist air at 35 degrees Celsius as a dew point. See, moist air means what? Dry bulb. So you have to write dry bulb temperature, and dew point is 15 degree directly. So you can calculate relative humidity, specific humidity, and enthalpy. Okay. So we shall see first. Uh, yeah. So first is dry bulb temperature. So dry bulb temperature is 35 degree. So for this dry bulb temperature, you have to write which one PVS. Okay, PVS from where? So PVS you have to use from and book. Okay, see from and book. See you don't go for pressure table. You have to go for temperature table because I know the only temperature I have to write pressure. Yeah. So how much temperature is given? Thirty five degree. See you can observe thirty five degree. What is that pressure? Point. Zero point zero five six two one six. Okay, in terms of bar radius, you have to convert that into a kilopascal. Point zero five six. Okay, so point zero five six one uh, five six two one six in terms of bar. Okay, you have to convert this into a kilopascal. If you convert this into a kilopascal, you will get five point six two one six kilopascal. Okay, so similarly, you have to go right for dew point. So dew point is 15 degree. So for dew point, you have to write PV direct. Okay. So how much you will get? 15 degree. So you can observe 15 degree. You will be having a 0.017039. Okay. So 0.017039 bar. Okay. So how much you will get? 1.7039 kilo pascal. Okay. We shall see what you wanted to find it. So we shall see. Go for. We shall go for step by step. So first one is what relative relative humidity. So what is the formula of relative humidity? So relative humidity is equal to PV divided by PVS. Okay. So how much is the PV? Okay. How much is the PV? So you'll get one point seven zero three nine divided by Five point six two one six into hundred, so we'll get around thirty point two five percent. Okay, so first one is over. So next, you have to find out specific humidity. Specific humidity, relative humidity, and specific humidity. So specific humidity formula. 
will get point uh, six two two PV divided by P minus PV. Okay, so point six two two PV is given. Okay, one point seven zero three nine divided by P. What is the P total pressure? So total pressure means one not one point three. Okay, minus one point seven zero three nine kilopascal. So finally, you'll get specific humidity. Okay, if you resolve, you'll get, if you solve, you'll get one point zero six into ten to the power of minus two kg of water vapor. This SI unit is very important. Water vapor to the kg of dry air. Okay, so this is a very important thing. Okay, so what next? Next, you have to find out. Enthalpy. You have to find out enthalpy. What is the formula? H is equal to one point zero zero five into dry bulb plus specific humidity into two thousand five hundred plus CPF superheated one point eight eight into dry bulb. Okay, this is standard formula. So directly substitute. So dry bulb is what? How much? Thirty-five degree specific humidity one point zero six into ten to the power of minus two into two thousand five hundred plus one point eight eight into dry bulb is how much? Thirty-five uh, degree. So finally, you'll get enthalpy. Finally, you'll get enthalpy is if it's all, you'll get sixty-two point three seven kilojoule per kg. Okay, very simple form. Very simple. Okay, this is this complete the one problem. Okay, so we'll see. Uh, okay, we shall see second problem. So second problem, my steer. My steer means what? You have to write dry bulb. So dry bulb temperature is how much? Thirty degree. Okay. So pressure is total pressure is given. So total pressure you have to one point zero one three bar. So convert that into kilopascal. You will get one point zero one three into ten to the power of two kilopascal. Next relative humidity is given. So that is eighty percent. Without using psychometric chart, you have to determine partial pressure of water vapor (PV), partial pressure of dry air (PA), specific humidity, and specific volume and dew point temperature. Okay, very big. Okay, so we shall see how to do step by step. Very simple. Okay, so first thing from this steam table, you have to write the pressure. Okay, T dry bulb is equal to 30 degree. So T dry bulb is equal to 30 degree. So again, we have to go for dry bulb. You know. Uh, As pressure table, so 30 degree, a point zero four two four one five, okay, four two four one five. So now, PVS is equal to point zero four two four one five bar, okay. If you convert into a kilopascal, you will get point zero four two four one five into ten to the power of two kilopascal, okay. Yeah. So first, what you wanted to find out, you have to find out the PV. Okay. So PV is what partial pressure of water vapor. So to find out PV, you have to use relative humidity. So relative humidity, relative humidity will be having xi is equal to PV divided by PVS. Okay. So P xi is given. So point eight eighty percent. So I'll write point eight. Is equal to PV. I don't know. You have to write PVS. Point zero four two four one five into ten to the power of two. Okay. So now you have to find out PV. How much you'll get PV? So if you uh, everything solved, we'll get three point three nine two kilo pascal. So one is over. Simple. Okay. So second one, you have to find out PA. So to find out PA. Okay, so to find out PA, you have to use total pressure, Dalton's law of total pressure. So what is the Dalton's law of total pressure? So P is equal to P is equal to PA plus PV. Okay, P is given how much? One point zero one three into ten to the power of two kilopascal. PA I don't know. Plus PV is three point three nine two. So finally you'll get PA is equal to ninety seven point nine one. Kilo Pascal. Okay, so two things is over. Okay, now so first was PV is over and PA is over. Now I have to go for specific humidity. So third one, specific humidity. Specific humidity. Okay, 
so w is equal to 0.622 pv divided by p minus pv or you can take directly pa okay yeah so 0.622 pv is 3.392 divided by okay 1.013 into 10 to the power of 2 minus pv is 3.392 so finally you'll get specific humidity okay you'll get the form uh, you'll get the value 0 0.0215 kg of water vapor to kg of dry air okay so third one is completed what next you have to go for specific volume okay so specific volume so specific volume of uh, you have to verify whether they asked you to find out specific volume of air or specific volume of gas okay or water vapor or air okay here you have to find out the specific volume of what air okay so to find out you will be having a perfect gas equation pa va is equal to m a r a t a okay so you will get pa is equal to m a r a T A divided by P A. So substitute everything. Okay, one mass is not given means you can take one. R value 0.287 and T A value is uh, dry bulb plus 273. You have to substitute in terms of Kelvin here. Okay, divided by P A value means uh, you'll get 97.91. So you'll get volume. Okay, specific volume is 0.8881 meter cube per kg of air okay so specific volume is over okay now so next final thing you have to find out finally you have to find out the dew point temperature okay dew point temperature so how to find out dew point temperature you know pv you can find out dew point temperature so i have pv value is around 3.392 Kilo Pascal. So if you substitute in terms of bar, you'll get okay. Bar will get 0 0.0 uh, 0 0.03 39 into 10 to the power of, in terms of Pascal, right? In terms of Pascal. So you'll get in terms of bar is 0 0.03 bar. In terms of bar, you'll get 0 0.03 bar. So for this, you have to find out dew point temperature with the help of steam table. Okay. So 0 0.03 bar. So how much you'll get? Uh, okay, in terms of pressure, I'll, I'll go to in terms of pressure table. Okay, in terms of pressure table, 0 0.03 you'll get 24.10. Okay, so you have to write 24.10. Okay, so this complete the second problem. So we shall see what is the third problem. Okay, so third problem, yeah. You can observe. See here, they given psychometry reads 40 degrees Celsius of dry bulb temperature. Yeah, directly they given. So I'll write directly 40 degree and 28 degree of wet bulb temperature. Calculate all these things means partial pressure of vapor, dry air, wet, uh, specific humidity, relative humidity, density, dew point temperature and NLP. If you solve this problem, okay, you can solve any any problems in uh, psychometry without using psychometric chart. Okay, now, so we shall see, we will go uh, first. So from the steam table, dry bulb temperature 40 degree so if they given 40 degree celsius you have to write pvs so dry bulb temperature pv for 40 degree how much you will get the pv so pvs 40 degree you will get a point zero seven three seven five zero okay so point zero seven three seven five zero it is in bar so you have to convert this into a kilopascal so how much you will get 0 0.07375 into 10 to the power of 2 kilo pascal okay so now you have to find out wet bulb so wet bulb is how much 28 degree but 28 degree is not there in the in the handbook okay so you have to go for interpolation formula see 28 degree is not there you have a 20 25 30 28 degree is not there so you have to go for interpolation so interpolation formula interpolation formula so uh, you know x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1 is equal to y minus y1 divided by 
y2 minus y1. See what is this x? x is you have to find out. x1 is whatever you want to find out that's the less than value. x2 is more than value. Okay. So instead of x, I'll write wet bulb minus temperature 1, temperature 2, temperature 1. Here PVS wet bulb minus P1 divided by P2 minus P1. Okay, so uh, now you have to find out. Let's see, temperature is 28 degree. So below 28 degree, how much you get that you wanted to know. So see, 25 is the minimum value, 30 is the maximum value. So 25 minus and 28 minus 25 divided by 30 minus 25. Okay, so you have to find out wet bulb. So for 25, what is the pressure you have to write in terms of bar or in terms of kilopascal? See 25, you'll get 0 0.0031660, 30.42415. That you have to write here. Okay, so in terms of bar, I'll write. Later, I'll convert this into a uh, kilopascal. 0 0.03166. So finally, you'll get PVS wet bulb you will get 0 0.03814 bar at 28 degree. So you have to convert this into a kilopascal. So to convert into 10 to the power of 4, 2, sorry, kilopascal. Okay, that's it. So now you got PVS. Now you have to find out first one by one PV. Okay, so first one is PV. So here dew point is not given. So you have a different formula to, to find out PV. So what is that formula? PV is wet bulb minus P minus PV is wet bulb into dry bulb temperature minus wet bulb temperature divided by 1547 minus 1.44 wet bulb temperature. So you have to substitute everything. So if you substitute everything, okay, you'll get 0 0.03814 into 10 to the power of 2 minus 101.3 minus 0 0.03814 into 10 to the power of 2 into dry bulb is uh, 40 minus 28 divided by 1547 minus 1.44 into 28 degree. So finally you'll get PV value. Okay. So 30 sorry 3.0375 kilo Pascal. So this is a PV. So one thing is completed. What is the next? You have to find out PA. So to find out PA you have you know the partial pressure of delta law of partial pressure. Okay. So you have to substitute here. 101.3 is equal to PA plus 3.0375 okay so finally you'll get PA is equal to 98.26 kilo Pascal 98.26 kilo Pascal okay so PA next you have to find out specific humidity so specific humidity you know the formula so specific humidity third one specific humidity okay so specific humidity you know the formula 0.622 PV divided by PA so I'm taking directly I will not subtract because you already find out PA okay so you have 0 0.622 PV is 3.0375 divided by PA is 98.26 so finally you'll get specific humidity 0 0.0192 kg of dry sorry uh, kg of vapor okay kg of vapor to a kg of dry hair kg of dry hair okay so this is a specific humidity yeah so next you wanted to find out relative humidity so relative humidity so what is the formula you know the formula pv divided by PVS okay so into 100 okay into 100 so PV you know 3.0375 PVS is dry bulb temperature 
pressure so that is 0 0.07375 into 10 to the power of 2 okay into 100 so i'll get dry bulb in you know, a relative humidity you multiply by 100 you'll get 18 percent means 41.18 percent okay so what do you want to find out next see very simple uh, so you have to use a formula okay so next you wanted to find out density density of vapor see they clearly mention density of vapor so you have to use dense you have to find out density of vapor so pv vv mv rv tv so pv divided by density of vapor mv rv tv so you want density of vapor so pv divided by mv rv and tv okay so pv is you know 3.0375 divided by mass i'll take 1 kg and rv rv is a gas constant for vapor vapor okay so 0.461 into temperature is uh, dry bulb temperature you have to choose so 40 plus 273 so finally density is you will get 0 0.021 kg per meter cube 0.21 kg per meter cube so next you have to find out the enthalpy enthalpy see this is so easy you have to use your brain so that you have to find you know substitute direct substitution okay and no need to worry especially psychometry is very easy so enthalpy formula 1.88 dry bulb okay so substitute everything and dry bulb is 40 specific humidity you will get 192 and 2000 plus 1.88 dry bulb is 40 Okay. so we'll get enthalpy if you solve we'll get 89.89 kg of kilojoule of kg of air that's it see very simple you have to substitute and get the things done that's it okay so next dew point temperature dew point temperature so to find out dew point temperature you require pv but you know the value of PV is 0.375 kilopascal. So you have to convert this into a bar. If you convert, you'll get, point, uh, uh, you'll get 0 0.03035 bar. Okay, so for this you have to find out the dew point. So again, uh, this value is not there in the syllabus or you can round, up at, round it off. Uh, you can take directly take PV is equal to 0 0.03 bar you can round up okay so therefore from the handbook you'll get dew point is 24.1 degree celsius okay so this completes the psychometry problem without psychometric chart okay so next class we'll go for with psychometric chart thank you